students on the attendance list. Uh, I know I'm waiting on, I know I'm waiting on one more that was having trouble finding the link. Now, uh, you guys know the link is right there in the module. Like, so for example, uh, I assume since you found it, you, you got it, you're here. Um, so it should be right in each week should be in the module, you know, week two zoom, week three zoom, week four zoom, yada, yada, yada. And if I'm not mistaken, by the way, it's the same link every week. It's just like the next meeting of the same link. So let me throw this one out directly to that person. Copy invite link. And reply and read and send. Okay. All right. So we will see if Lena can find us. All right, so I'm missing a couple, but there's a couple I'm not, that I know one, uh, there is one person that is scheduled to work this week. Now, uh, so let's go ahead and fire up. The meetings are mandatory, okay? The meetings every Wednesday are mandatory. Now, last week I sent you the Ed Puzzle in lieu of this meeting because I was traveling. Here's the thing. I have to do some mandatory meetings by the nature of the online live class. That's a requirement for me by the college. However, let's say you are working on a given evening that your schedule is not regular or uh, that, you know, I have a person already that's uh, emailed me that said, hey, in July, I'm going to have to miss one Wednesday because my family has a reunion thing or whatever. I'm okay with that. If we're going to treat this just like every adult thing that we ever do in adult life. If you're going to miss something, you email me and say, hey, Mr. Moore, uh, it's a work thing. It's a family thing. Like, I don't need to know what color the puke was or whatever. If a kid is sick, just sick kid, whatever. Uh, let me know. And what I will be doing is recording these meetings. I will turn around and put an Ed puzzle in it, so where you have to answer questions about what we talked about, uh, just like your other Ed puzzles. And that's the way you will prove your participation for that week. So you will still have to attend the meeting. It will just be at a later time via a recording with Ed puzzle uh, questions involved in it. Does that make sense, everybody? Since yeah. I'm staring at a bunch yes. of black yes. screens, verbal would be awesome. Thank you, Rena. All right. So um, that's that's how I'm going to do this. So be here or you have to watch online with questions, yada, yada, yada. Either way, neither one is going to be shorter because they're literally the same amount of time. Okay. So uh, the goal is not to make these meetings an hour long okay, or even a half hour long. The goal is to get what you need accomplished in that time frame for whatever it is. Once we get fired up and going with the class, um, it's really gonna be for questions. This is your opportunity if you want live help and us doing problems together. <laughs> the password won't, did, was there a password on your Zooms, guys? No, when you click the link, it just opened up to launch the meeting. That's what I thought, too. I think somebody's in the wrong spot. There we go. I sent them a link. Um, so we'll try that. Um, so at any rate, this is an opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one or live, face-to-face, -face, if you need assistance. If you don't, most of the time, that's fine. You'll move on down the road when I let you, when I let you go. Okay, so this is just a way to get you help, but also it's a way that I can mandate uh, that you're here for attendance purposes and I can do this right here and say, hey, hey, that person is present and hey, hey, that person is present and I can verify for the college that you have participated. Uh, additionally, for things like today, since do we get graded for attendance? Yes, I think it's currently worth 30 points. I think that's what it is in the grade book. Um, so yes, you do get graded for attendance. Yikes. Okay. Now, Lena, what you may have uh, not heard because 
you were coming in right at the end of this conversation is let's assume that you have a conflict for uh, you're going on vacation in July. Okay, there's a Wednesday you're going to miss. You email me, you tell me that. And since I'm recording this meeting right now, I post this recording, put it in an Ed Puzzle with questions, and you do that in lieu of being here with us live. Does that make sense? And I'll keep my eye on yeah. the chat for that. Okay. So um, there we go. So here's what I want to do. I want to go through the class live with you so that whether it's sent to you in an email, whether it is in a video with an Ed Puzzle, or whether it's here with me live, or whether you're not here with me live and you have to watch it again on this Ed Puzzle that's recorded because you were absent. At this point, guys, we should have get any how to do the class questions answered. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you. So screen share. Oh, we had somebody drop out and come back in. That's fine. Hello. All right. Share. Can you see the uh, Canvas screen? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Perfect, yes. thank you. Okay, so we are in week two. So by the end of the week, all this stuff that says week two, June 6th to, Ju to 13th, all right, that stuff right there, do June 13th. Everything in this module, so. Getting started, that should already be done. The only thing that was uh, mandated was this mandatory Ed Puzzle introduction video. There was a how to submit your handwritten paper, and there was a handwritten paper in that first slide deck that you could uh, that you could submit. The way I grade that uh, one handwritten submitted paper is it's currently worth zero points. So if I give you a grade for it, that's like extra credit. It's the only extra credit in the entire class. Okay. So if you had trouble with it, let me know. I'll help you get it taken care of. Basically, it's just a test in case we have to submit um, a paper for any reason, or we have to communicate back and forth with paper. Uh, again, we just try to make sure we have plan B's available. So Everything in getting started should be done. Now, the due date for week one was June 6th, okay? Now, as in the email, I try to email you at least once a week. In the email, I said I'm extending that to the end of this coming week, so the 13th. Now, the original due date is the 6th. So starting on the 6th, I start putting grades in. Let's say you're not done with it on the 6th, okay? You say, but you said you'd accept it on the 13th. Yes, I will, 100%. But I'm still putting the grade in on the 6th to show you where you're at. And you submit it. I improve the grade, full credit. You get all the points. It's wonderful. So that's how it works on the due date. Starting on whatever that due date is, I put grades in on it. So it needs to be done by then. I will warn you, this class is in a 16 to 18 week class and it shrunk into eight weeks, okay guys? It is tightly packed. So when I say, hey, this is week one, this is week two, this is week three, you really ought to stick pretty tight to that schedule because that pacing has been worked out over years and years of this class. If you fall a day or two behind, not a problem. Fall three days behind, oof, arf. You fall, start falling a week or more behind in an eight week class, that's gonna be real tough to make comeback. So try to stay on target, okay? Try to stay on target. Now, I sent you in the email already this week. I said, hey, Look at your Ed Puzzle grade. If you want to improve it, please do so. The way you improve your Ed Puzzle scores, you say, Mr. Moore, on um, functions and behavior, I didn't do very well. Could you reset that Ed Puzzle and I'll redo it? Absolutely. And you get improved credit. Okay. So any Ed Puzzle you want to either finish and do or have me reset so you can redo. 
I'm happy to do that for you so you can get a better grade. It's like Pokemon, catch all the points, okay? The same thing happens with Delta Math. If you didn't get as much of that Delta Math from week one done as you wanted, get it done. And I will pick it up when I do grades on Monday. Okay, so improve that score. The only thing you can't redo is the test, is the assessment. Okay, it's the only thing you can't redo. In fact, uh, I don't know if everybody on here or not has gotten the discussion from week one done. If you haven't, go ahead and do it. Put it in, get it done. And that way you get full credit for it. Those are the discussion ones are basically free points. You just have to do them each week. Uh, so where should you be at? You should be well into your equations and inequality slides for week two. You should be able to watch all your ed puzzles. But again, if you don't get the grade you want on that ed puzzle, all I request is that you email me the title. So for example, this when you say, Mr. Moore, can you reset graphing by T table for me? Sure, happy to reset it, you redo it, and I'll, the grade will go up when I put in the grades, usually Monday or Tuesday of each week. Likewise, uh, Delta Maths, get them done, get them done. Now, when you get to the end of the chapter, You'll you should have already noticed because you should already have the first assessment done, but the assessment should be timed tests, okay? But don't worry so much about the time because I've given you probably double or triple the time it should take you to do it. The only reason I put a time limit on it at all is that you don't drag it out for two days taking the test, okay? or a week or whatever it is. That's the purpose of the time frame, not necessarily to hurry you up. Uh, also, you will notice on the assessments, you do not get infinite redos uh, because it's an assessment. But at the same time, um, you know, you're sitting in front of a computer, do a good job with it. Uh, anything that you see for worksheets, et cetera, unless I specifically say, please submit your handwritten worksheet document, yada, yada, yada. Unless I say it in an email in this class or I put it in big red letters, please turn in, okay? You do not need to turn in handwritten work in this class. Should you be doing handwritten work? Yes, okay? As you do Delta Math, to, to learn math, you need to do math. You need to write it down but you people are adults, you're in a college class. I'm not gonna treat you like junior high kids and say, you must turn in and show all your work, okay? I'll know based on your performance, how well it's going, all right? Uh, I So again, trying to treat you like a college class that you are. So by the end of the week, you should have this assessment done and everything else in here. Why do I still include some of the worksheets? because sometimes it's nice to see the problems where you can practice. If you wish to, great. If you don't want to do this, that's why they're called optional. All right, I'm going to pause at this point and answer any questions. What questions do you have at this point? Um, so I had a couple questions, actually. You betcha. Okay, so for this course, um, what's required to oh, do? Yeah. Is that going to be the Delta math questions and then also the Ed puzzle questions? And then is there like additional stuff or are those the main two things? You're asking what, what's my grade? Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Each week test is worth 30 points. Mm -hmm. Each week Delta math is, or sorry, discussion, 10 points. Oh. Puzzle, 10 points. Delta math, 10 points. Uh, there's a few other odds and ends, a little like the extra submit your thing. That's one point. There's the okay. attendance that is 30 points only because that's mandated by the college. But basically, if you want to know what your grade is, everything in the module, it's split up just like this. That's what goes into your grade. Good question. 
Okay, so that's the discussion question, Delta Math, and then Ed Puzzles, basically. That's it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. You. I mean, it, it's it's meant for you that if let's say you're already math awesome, but you're in this class, work mm -hmm. ahead, do it. Great. Get the points. Boom, 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 boom. Have a nice day. When you're done, you're done. Okay. Um, right. If you're not math awesome, that's okay too. That's why we have the helps. That's why we have the ed puzzles. That's why I'm here via email or why we have the weekly meeting. Does that make sense? All right. Great question. Uh, any other questions? I have one. Um, yes, well, actually, so with, with Delta Map, um, so are we are we graded based on like what we finished or because like when you do it, like they give you if you don't get all of them right, they don't let you like finish the four questions. So are we penalized like every time it the chance it takes us to get to the four questions? Or? Ah, I see. Very good. Good question. All right, let me let me answer that for you. Uh, I'm going to not share my screen for just a moment. And let's go to view assignment and not, oh, because I only have your class. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a second. I want to show you exactly how it works. Basically, if you get, let's say it says you have to do four questions. If you get all four, you get 100%. Okay. If mm -hmm. you do four questions and get all four of them right, that's 100%. If you do six questions, miss two, get four correct, still 100%. If it takes you 20 questions to get four correct, still 100%. Oh, okay. Does that make, does that answer your question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to get too detailed for you. Yeah. That's, that's it. Um, yeah. I, you have, just, I have another question. Okay. Uh, is, now on the test, that's the one where you only get one or two times per problem to try it because it's a test, not practice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And um, one of the video, I don't know if you could pull up, I think it was an Ed puzzle where you uh, discussed domain and range. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know which one it was. That's but okay, it, what's your question in general? And then if we need to go specific, we can do that. In general, so like you got for the range, um, you had negative one, six. I think you went, because it started at negative one on the x-axis and I think you went up six. But when I counted, I got eight. Like, I don't know, I think I was just confused. Okay, well, let's do this, since that's a very specific question on a very specific video. If you want to hang out right at the end of this, I'll be happy to go through it with you. That okay. way, um, we get through any other general information, and those folks can log off, and we can talk mm -hmm. about yours specific. Does that make sense, Rena? Mm -hmm. Okay, the other thing, while uh, any of you think of any other, other questions, make sure you're using all of the capabilities of Delta Math. So in this case, you have a help video. Every problem you do for the homework has help videos. I turn them off for the test, but if you have a, you say, I'm not sure how to do this problem. There is a built-in help video by the makers of Delta Math. Additionally, where it says, mine says show solution, yours would say show example, and it will, show you an example. Now, this isn't a great one because it's not a lot of work on it. We'll do this. Oop, there you go. Show so, so it would walk you through as an example. So show example, watch help video, make sure you're putting those to use. Okay. So you have me helping to explain it to you, but maybe you like Zach from Delta Math better explaining to you. I'm not offended. Just get the help you need. Don't care. Okay, um, so make sure you're putting that to use. What other questions does anyone have? Did, did you say a minute ago that you can redo questions on the test? Uh, not on the test, on the homework, do them all until, well, on the homework, do them all until you get 100%. On Edpuzzle, reset it, do it all, get 100%. Uh, on the test, I think you have two, two shots at it. I think I set it at two shots. 
So yeah. you can redo it up to two times per I question. The, each question, yes, not the whole test. Uh, I will, I, I'll, spoiler alert, they're probably near the end of the class. There probably will be a test I let you redo. Okay. Um, but let's be honest, we got to get there first. And when you get to that test, you will know which one it is. So, yeah, it, it'll be very clear. The other thing that I did want to share with you guys, let's talk through this for just another quick minute. Getting started should be good. Functions and graphs should be fairly easy. Equations and inequalities should be pretty basic. Systems gets a little tougher, guys. Uh, exponents and roots shouldn't be too bad. You will notice polynomials and quadratics. You can still see my screen on Canvas, correct? No, you cannot, so I need to share it. Okay. Good thing I asked. Thanks, Craig. Now can you see it? Cool. Yes. All right. Polynomials and quadratics. You'll notice there's week five and six. It's not because we're padding the schedule. It's because that section is an absolute bear. Okay. And the same thing for the next one, week six, six and seven for more quadratics and rationals. You do not under any circumstances want to be behind in the class when we get to week five, because week five, six, seven are all going to be very, very tough. Okay. So make sure you are ready for them. In fact, if you started these a little early, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. Uh, it's kind of the heart of the course. If you remember factoring, completing the square, quadratic equations, if any of those things scare you or bring up bad memories from high school, that's where those live. Okay. Uh, so you should be prepared when you get there, but make sure you're not behind. You'll notice I keep saying don't get behind. It's experience speaking. All right. Um, okay. What other questions do you guys have for me? If nothing, I'll hang out with Rena and we will talk about her individual question. Uh, what's that? I say, I just have a general oh, one. Shoot that. me with that it's general just question. You just where to find the worksheets that are in the PowerPoints that say we could against, do? I'm where sorry. To, the worksheet that we can do that's in the PowerPoints, the optional ones? You don't, do they are optional. You don't need to do anything with them. They're just there for your benefit if you wish. Where do we find them? Oh, they are right. So for example, inequalities, equations, and slides. If there's any extra worksheet you wanted to work through, you would see it. And it would look like this. It would be a picture of a worksheet. You click it. And it comes up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everything in the everything in the slides is linked up, so that you only have to go to the slides. That's it. By the way, that reminds me, some people get all wound up because they only look over here at the coming up or on my to do list. Do not count on that to do list. Okay, that to do list is generated automatically based on settings and so on and so forth. So the stuff in your ed puzzle or the stuff in your Delta math doesn't show up there. What you need to make sure you're doing is staying on target based on the due dates on the modules. Okay. All right. If that, if there's no other questions, you guys are free to leave.